hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy now we are given this trapezoidal area and it is said that determine the x and y coordinate of the centroid of this uh, trapezoidal area right so by inspection we can say that somewhere here its centroid will be uh, located right so we need to find the the coordinate of the centroid from the origin right so this will be x bar coordinate and this will be y bar coordinate right so we we need to determine x bar and y bar in terms of these given dimensions this a side and this b and this height right so to find this x bar we need to apply the uh, principle of moment equations right so we we can write that x bar into area will be multiply uh, will be equal to the integration of x c and d a right so to apply this equation first we need to define uh, our differential area right so let's say that this is my differential area somewhere here is my differential area right we will select this horizontal differential area as uh, a, as we move along the y axis its uh, horizontal dimension uh, is defined by only one equation or by only one variable right let's say that uh, this this length of the differential element is x right so as we move this differential element along the y axis its its x dimension will remain the same right if we will only need to define it by only one variable right so and if we define our differential element as a vertical element right let's say that this is uh, if this is my differential element so then the height of this differential element will be equal to y let's say right and it will remain constant until uh, x equals to a until this point right until this point and after that uh, the height of the differential element will decrease and we will not be able to represent this height by using this only one variable right so then this height of the differential element after this particular point then uh, we will require some other variable right some some other function right so uh, after this when x equals to a after this particular point then the height will be h minus that this will be h minus this height right so whatever this height is let's say that this height is p right so then this will be h minus p so then in this particular case we cannot define a vertical differential element right so we have only one choice that we need to select the horizontal differential element right so now i will select the horizontal differential element let's say let's say that this is a now this is our differential area right and let's say that uh, the centroid of this differential area is somewhere here right at the geometric center of this differential element this is the centroid right so now to apply this equation xc is the distance of the centroid of this differential element from the y axis is right so this is xc let me define it right so this distance is xc right so as we can see that uh, if if this whole length is x right and this is xc so then we can see that uh, half of this dimension x right so i will write that xc is x divided by 2 right since it's located at uh, half of the distance of this dimension right so this dimension is x so then xc will be x divided by 2 so i will write that xc is x divided by 2 right so but before applying this equation first we need to find this total area of this uh, given trapezoid right so to find this area we can write that area will be equal to the summation of all the areas of all the differential elements right and as we know that this da will be equal to this width of this differential area is this is dy right so then we can say that da is x dy right so now as we can see that the integration is with respect to x so this means that we have to represent this x as a function of y right since we will not be able to apply this integration right and since the integration is with respect to y so the maximum limits of the y coordinate is from 0 to h right so we will integrate this from 0 to h but before applying this integration first we have to find the relationship the x as a function of y the relationship between x and y right 
so then for that uh, what we will do is that we will use some geometry right so let's say that uh, we have these two triangles let's say that i have this triangle this upper triangle and this large triangle right so we have these two triangles and let me write that this is uh, x y z and s and t so now we have x y z triangle and x s and t triangle and both of these triangles are similar triangles right this y z length will be equal to if this whole length is x so then this y z length will be equal to x minus a right since this is a so this length will be x minus a and this st length will be equal to b minus a right so this is b minus a and the height of this small triangle this x y z this height will be equal to h x y length will be equal to h uh, minus y since this height is y right so then this will be h minus y this height will be the y coordinate this the distance along the y so this distance is y and the total distance is h so then this x y uh, perpendicular of this small triangle is h minus y right so now if we apply the properties of similar triangle so we can say that we can take the ratio of base and the perpendicular right so x minus a is the base of small triangle and h minus y is the perpendicular of the small triangle that is x y z so this will be equal to the base of large triangle that is x s t so the base of large triangle is b minus a so i will write b minus a divided by the perpendicular of large triangle that is x s length so x s is the height of the trapezoid right so i will divide it by h so now uh, x minus a this will be equal to b minus a into h minus y divided by h or we can say that x is equal to this thing this is plus a so now if i multiply this so this will be b h minus b y minus a h and plus a y and divided by h plus a right so now if if i separate this uh, y terms right so we have this plus a y minus b y divided by h i will separate this and then i will separate this right so this will be plus uh, b h minus a h i will divide this by h and i will divide this by h separately plus a so this will cancel out so we'll be left with minus a right this will be minus a and minus a plus a becomes zero and this will cancel out so if i take a com uh, y common so this will be a minus b into y divided by h plus b Right, so now this is this is x as a function of y. So x is equal to a minus b divided by h into y plus b. So now we can use this x as a function of y in this integration, right? So this will enable us to apply this integration, right? So then this area will be equal to this is a minus b into y divided by h plus b, and this is integration with respect to y. and integration is from 0 to h so if we integrate this so this will be a minus b and this is y right so this will become y square divided by 2h plus b y right and this is the limits are from 0 to h so now if we apply these limits so this is a minus b h square divided by 2h plus b h and if we put zero so everything will become zero right so this is this h will cancel out so we will be left with a minus b divided by 2 and here we have h as well right and plus b h so now if we take 2 as an lcm so this will be 2 and if we multiply this so this will be a h minus b h plus 2 b h right so this will be equal to a h plus b h divided by 2 so we can say that let me write that this area will be 
this area is equal to if we take h as common so this will be a plus b into h divided by 2 so this is the total area so x is equal to a minus b into y divided by h plus b and the area of this trapezoid is equal to a plus b divided by 2 into h so now we can apply this integration as well so this will be <coughs> x bar times area and xc is x divided by 2 and da is again we can write that da is x dy let me write that da is this x into dy right so x dy so now this will be x square so and we can take 1 divided by 2 out of the integration so this is 1 divided by 2 x square dy and this integration is from 0 to h remember right so now we have x as a function of y so we have to find this x square the simplified x square right so i can write that x is equal to a minus b divided by h into y plus b so then x square so we will we need to take square so then we will apply the a plus b square formula right so this will be a minus b divided by h squared plus 2ab so a minus b divided by h into y into b and plus b square right so now we get this so we can take the integration of this so we need to put x square equals to this thing right so this will be a minus b square divided by h square into y square plus 2a minus b divided by h into by plus b square and we need to integrate this with respect to y from 0 to h so when we integrate this so this will be 1 divided by 2 Th these are constants so a minus b squared divided by h squared and this will become y cube divided by 3 right so we will have 3 h square plus 2a minus b into b divided by h and this will become y square divided by 2 and plus this will become b square y and the limits are from 0 to h so now if we apply these limits so this will be 1 divided by 2 and let me apply these limits directly right so in place of y we will write that this is h cube this is h square and this is h right and now we can see that this will cancel out this 2 will cancel out this h will cancel out right so we will be left with uh, a minus b squared divided by 3 into h plus a minus b into b h plus b square h and if we put uh, y equals to 0 so everything will become 0 so we will be left with this thing right so now this is if we take h as common from all of these right so this will be h divided by 2 so h divided by 2 and <coughs> if i multiply this so this will be a b minus b square right so this will be a b minus b square so b square is also cancel out so this will become 0 so we will be left with this term right so now we can simplify this if i take 3 as an lcm so this will be a minus b square plus 3 ab and now we can open this so this is a minus b squared formula so this will be a square plus b square minus 2 ab so this 3 ab minus 2 ab so this will become a uh, plus ab this is plus ab right and now here we have x into area and area is this thing right so this is e plus b divided by 2 into h so this h will cancel out so we will be left with x bar this 2 will cancel out as well right so we will be left with a square plus b square plus a b divided by 3 into a plus b right so this is the x bar coordinate of the centroid of this trapezoidal area
now to find y bar again we will apply the principle of moments equation so then y bar into area this will be equal this time this will be y c d a right and d a is again x d y so i will write that this is x d y and y c is the distance of the centroid from the x axis right so this distance is y c so now as we can see that this y c will be equal to the y coordinate right this is equal to y so this y c is equal to y and x we know that uh, this is our x right so now i can write that this is y multiply by we will write x as a function of y since integration is with respect to y right so this is a minus b divided by h into y plus b dy so this will be a minus b divided by h y square plus b y and again this integration is from 0 to h right so this is d y so now if we integrate this so this will be a minus b divided by h y cube divided by 3 plus b y square divided by 2 and this integration is from 0 to h so now if we put these limits so then this y will become h and this will become h and if we put uh, y equals to 0 in this so everything will become 0 right so this is a minus b and now we can see that this h will cancel out so we will be left with a minus b divided by 3 and this is h square plus b h square divided by 2 so now we can take lcm as well right so let me first multiply this so this is a h square minus b h square divided by 3 plus b h square divided by 2 now if we take lcm so then this will be 6 this will be 2 a h square minus 2 b h square plus 3 b h square so this is 2 a h square this will be plus b h square divided by 6 and we can take h square common as well so this will be 2a plus b into h square divided by 6 and this thing is equal to we can write that this is equal to y bar into a so y bar and area is again we know that this is a plus b divided by 2 a plus b divided by 2 into h and this is 2a plus b divided by 6 into h square so 1 h will cancel out so we will be left with if we cross multiply this so y bar is 2 a plus b into 2 divided by 6 into a plus b and we have this 1 h left right so h to the power 1 is left here so this will be 2 divided by 3 this is 3 we can write that this is h into 2a plus b divided by 3 into a plus b so this is the y coordinate of the centroid of this given trapezoidal area so i hope you people would have understood this uh, solution kindly like my videos if they help in your learning